Greetings from Jim, a G6IF. I'm demonstrating a couple of uh, JT65, JT9 things. In my vehicle, I have a FT991 running on a ebook Linux, and I'm accessing it remotely today from inside my shack. So as you can see here, I've got my shack PC running WSJTX. It's connected to my 847, and I've got a, a Skywave loop and a talented Balan out back. And then over here, this is a remote desktop screen. Uh, if I can, I can move this one over a little bit, and that's the inside. This is the outside. This is out in my vehicle. So what I'm doing is comparing the receive sensitivity from uh, on 20 meters. Uh, between my mobile installation, FT991, and my base station, my uh, shack here, with the Skywave loop. It's interesting. Some stations are about 4 or 5 dB less in the mobile, which I would expect, but some of them are actually stronger. So my last cycle here, uh, let's look at the mobile first. So if you look at the VA3, the very first one, the minus 12, and come over to the Shack PC, the VA3 is minus 13. Okay, there's the next cycle. Let's pick a couple. Uh, we've got the K6VIB at minus 12 on the mobile, and the K6VIB is minus 17. So in this case, the mobile actually heard that K6VIB signal a lot stronger than the shack. I don't know if that's pro uh, polarization, that my loop is horizontally polarized uh, or what, but uh, kind of interesting. Very impressive performance from a mobile uh, lip mount. I'm using a UHV-6 uh, harvest antenna. Comet makes uh, the same one, maybe uh, Comet's more common. But, uh, so anyway, we, again, we've got, uh, we've got a little comparison going on here. Obviously, the Shack PC here is more. More. Okay, here comes a new cycle. Got two CQs plus a third. Over on here. Yeah, we've actually got two CQs plus two more. Um, interesting. Okay, so what do we get? We get the KE7, and we've got the KE7 on both. Uh, this is the Shack PC. The N8 is a minus 11 over here. Uh, the N8 is minus 12. And then we've got a N5 at minus 10. The Shack heard uh, N5 at minus 9. The mobile picked up a th fourth station, uh, LA6DP, uh, YE6, YE at minus 20. The Shack PC did not hear that one at all. So I've got a one advantage here in the mobile. Ha, <laughs> interesting. Would not have expected that. Uh, so the YE6 station and the mobile came in. Okay, here's a new cycle. Obviously the EPC is much slower than my Shack PC here. Okay, we've got um, three, seven stations in the mobile and five stations in the shack. Uh, the first one, the VA3, it was uh, in the mobile was minus 17, minus 14 in the shack. The next one, uh, the AF5 was minus 19 in the mobile and it's minus 17 in the shack, so advantage shack. The third one, K6 VIB, um, K6 VIB, minus 16 in the mobile, minus 10 in the shack. And we got a W0. W0 and the mobile was minus 17 and the shack it was minus 13. And then we got a CQ. Um, minus 22 in the mobile, minus 13 in the shack. But then the mobile heard two more that aren't in the shack at all. Uh, these two right there. Uh, so the next one, next cycle, there's four in the mobile and four in the shack. Okay, so they match. Uh, the first one is minus 20, minus 19. Advantage Shack. The next one was a minus 14 and a minus 8 Advantage Shack. Third one minus 18 and minus 11 
Advantage Shack, and the fourth one was a CQ N8 CWU minus nine in the mobile and minus nine in the Shack. Interesting. So I'm, I guess, I'm very impressed with my mobile at this point. And again, just running a lip mount. Prior, uh, the prior uh, video shows the mobile installation. Um, running an EPC out there, running Mint 18 Beta and WSJTX um, remote desktop, so I can access the uh, mobile through my mesh network. And there goes the screensaver. Let's go ahead and come back into that. Um, I got to adjust the timing on that. Get that back up. Alrighty. And let's bring up the shack again. Not this one. No, not that one. Let's just get tangled up in which which tabs I have open. There we go. Alright, so mobile digital WSJTX uh, JT65 JT9 can be very, very effective. Um, Definitely hearing equivalent, a little bit less uh, than the shack, but not bad. I expected much worse, to be honest with you. Uh, so far, the FT991 has been a joy to work with. There's a USB port on it, connects directly to the PC. Here goes another cycle. On the right, we have the shack. On the left, we have the mobile. Uh, we have four versus four, five. Oh, we got an extra one in the mobile. Uh, interesting, very interesting there. So uh, anyway, thank you for watching, having a lot of fun experimenting with the uh, mobile FT991 and remote desktop along with my uh, mesh network which makes all this possible. So this is Jim, AG6I of Southern California. Thanks for watching and I hope to work you on uh, the digital mode sometime. Uh, have a nice day.